the focus of this video is going to be on working with shorter delay times. And we'll go through two different examples. The first is something that you'll find quite frequently in music where it's overall very dry. And maybe that's because it's the style of music. Like there's some rock music where there's very little reverb added or it's like a pop song and you just have so many instruments that there's not a lot of room for longer reverbs. And this is referred to as a slapback delay. And it's really simulating like a very small room because with reverb, the way that it works, especially in the computer, how it's emulated is by using just a bunch of delay lines because when I'm talking into this space here the sound waves are bouncing off the wall and they're all coming back to me at slightly different times so there's all sorts of different angles of reflection that's going on and eventually it comes back and hits my ears again and that's actually defining for me the size of the room the size of the space so if you're in a large room or a small room and you close your eyes and you talk you can still figure out the size of the room based on the reflections alone and so the slapback is a way of kind of simulating a small room without actually having to add any additional reverb and you'll find this commonly on guitar tracks on instrument tracks sometimes they'll be put on vocals on entire drum parts if you want to get like a drum room very common and in this example i'm just going to put it on a clap sound so this is for you to experiment with typically you have no feedback on this it's just a very quick kind of effect and then you're going to use the sync and have it be at something pretty quick so let's choose like a 16th note at 160 bpm so this is going to be really fast i'm going to bring the mix down for now i'm going to leave the filters wide open and let's take a listen and see if we can hear anything Okay, so there it is. So there's that slap back coming in. And a lot of times you might then high cut this a little bit. And so if we were just playing this, you know, in an actual drum beat, it would have more of an effect, but. We can try to experiment with some extra feedback. I don't think it's gonna sound very good. Actually, I kind of like it there because this is making it sound more like it's in a space, like it's kind of reverberating out. If we put the mix to 100, we'll just be listening to what's happening with the delay. And then we'll start to bring back in the dry. So I could see this working um, in an actual track if we didn't want to bring in any additional reverb because this sound already has a pretty long tail to it. So in case you wanted to uh, not have to put additional reverb onto that but still get the sense of space, you might go with a slapback effect. The other thing we can do is bring our delay time down so low where it no longer actually sounds like an echo. It actually is just blending into the sound. And this is what's referred to as the Haas effect or the precedence effect. You can look that up on Wikipedia for more information. But typically, any delay time under 20 milliseconds or so, we're going to perceive that as actually still being part of the original sound. But it will color the sound because it's causing phase differentials. That's really all that's happening here because we're adding in another version of this signal at a super short time. So, so if you think about it, if we look at this waveform and we were to put a second version right on top of itself, like duplicate this, turn this one off, and then ever so subtly move the second one around, you'll kind of hear this effect. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. So it doesn't sound like it's actually an echo, and this is maybe even too extreme. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. So you can hear how it's adding this dimension of space, but it doesn't sound like this is a delay in any way at all. It actually just sounds like we're in some kind of a room. So this is a really cool spatial effect that you can use. But with the actual uh, plugin that we have, we can take this a lot further and go crazy with it. And here's where we can start to then bring in some frequency shifting as well. So I'm just going to mess around with this for a little while, and you're going to hear how crazy this effect can be. My soul, happy friends shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. 
And now here's where I'm going to start to add in this shift. So what this is doing is for each feedback iteration, it's going to be moving this sound either down in Hertz or up in Hertz by whatever I define here. So we can take it and go crazy with it or we can be subtle. But if we increase the feedback, even subtle changes are going to make a big difference. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. And here's where you'll use this output mode because with this change in shift here, it's also actually making this into more of like a stereo effect. So, my soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night. My soul, happy friends, shall be with you that night.